Vitality in their four games of Dust 2 in Pro League so far. They've won two, lost two. The wins were against NIP and FaZe. The losses were against Spirit and Astralis. 16, 14, 16, 11 losses that was. So key map for them and some key Hi. frags for Apex. Barreling up Cat. Two big kills and make that three. Let's see how many more he can get. Any more? Oh, oh, PK wants one. He wants well. the oh, over at Apex. Yeah. Give it to him. He's coming. He's a coming. Oh, go hunting Apex. Don't play it safe, mate. Come on. He's playing it safe. Come on. Playing for the dub. Playing for the W. All he needs is uh, out there. Grims to kill four of them, and then you can knock him off the... Oh, that'd be a nice. Yeah. 1v1. Yeah, perfect. Little clutch. I'm afraid Crims is more interested in his Kevlar vest. He's looking at all the stitching. He thinks it'd be a shame to waste. All right, so I always told him where he is. Go, Apex. Go kill. Oh, Apex, go kill? Is he doing it? He's getting over there. Come on, Apex, go kill. At least do some damage to the guy. Take some. Make sure he can't upgrade to head armor for free. Come on, guys. Nope. All right. Fine. No kill. Well, it was an exciting four kills. I didn't even really kind of process where those first two uh, manifested. It was up short. He just jumped around the corner. I see. So his Aww. teammate baited and they lined up. Then a clean kill and the braided USP. Then the finish into Flusher. Great stuff. And the round. Wow. I've. Cool. I don't normally see that. A bit of frustration already starting to rise. Clearly, Inferno being taken from them has definitely uh, poked the bear. And the Fnatic Scarf is out, so that's important. You got to swing it as hard as you can around your head. That's the way you get Fnatic to play on, the best they go can. Go on, Flusha playing with fire. Scouts and double doors on Dust2 and pretty damn iconic mix. And Flusha loses the battle. Doesn't go down, but tagged to 44. He has to stand his ground. So his entire intention here is to catch a glimpse of someone on the crack and then pull the trigger for the finish. Apex was so hungry for that. <laughs> he was so hungry for that kill. Goes back to recover bomb, but JW did win, win over by the by bomb, long. Yeah. That's pretty nice. So it's actually going to help out Ooh. greatly. And that AK to into his hands. Eesh, that's lovely. Yeah, long's uh, probably out of control for this round. Maybe just leave that side of the map for the time being. Get that bomb, head back over towards B, as we can see on the radar, if they isolate the jewel against Golden over towards the car position, that will be a free bomb site. The mid to B smoke, probably a bit of a prelude to exactly that. And the scope will be heard in tunnels, so potentially trying to rotate over now. There you go. Ooh, I went for the hero Deeg, and we know he's got it in him, but not today. Certainly not here in round two. Roland's going to spawn with his AK, so, I mean, he's probably going to look to save this. He's in a position to perhaps find them a way in if he lingers middle, but it doesn't look like that's his plan. Are there any other weapons on the floor? I know that they were chopping and changing them. Shox was the one that went down, so that AK is now in Roland's hands. And that's about it. All right, makes sense. If you consider what buy they're going to have in the next round, Brolin can drop across a Deagle. They have an AK. They have a Famas. JW already has a Deagle. It's going to be quite potent, quite scary. Not easy for Vitality to deal with, right? So when you keep that in mind, when you look forward to round number three, as round number two comes to its quick and logical end as the bomb is about to explode. Here we go. Have to fight now against... What is a second crack from Fnatic, but a second crack that actually has some legs to it. Mm. This is not an easy map by any means uh, for teams to get massive leads on. It's one that's very, very volatile. Sometimes we see it the back and forth nature. We don't get consistent squads on Dust2. I don't think there's a consistent Dust2 team in the world. Um, I could be forgetting a couple of names, but I, I, look, it, uh, it, at the time, like with TSM, probably were the closest where we were like, oh, Dust2, you don't pick that against them. But even then, that was back when Cajun B was on the roster. Carrigan, different team. Very much a different era altogether, wasn't it? No. Looking at what surrounds, what Golden's got the Deagle, JW the Deagle. Uh, damage would be wonderful. I want to see where that AK is placed Bron. Okay, still pushes up towards long with it. You see a lot of pressure about to mount potentially towards JW. And Zywoo's getting a little curious. Spam coming in, but not reaching him. They haven't cleared his position, so he might become a danger within the mid round here if he wants to push on forward. Flusher overseeing with the scout. If he calls it clear, which he will not. Hmm, more damage. Apex might dunk him here. That's a cool one two punch, but not quite. 
Before we get stuck into this, Fnatic's two Dust 2s they played within the Pro League have both been losses. One loss to Spirit, one to Mouse. So they're looking for their first Dust 2 win of Season 12. I guess the information can be shared, but JW is going to be <laughs> overrun. Uh, smoke going to go down. Here come the T's. So it is going to be Golden once again asked to do, uh, you know, unbelievable things with that Deagle. Not able to do too much. And the smoke will maintain. Zywu going to keep back Crims. And this should be a comfortable round. Yeah, suppression fire was actually, not, uh, as though understated, very important. Stops any casualties. And this is the unfortunate reality for many a CT round. You have to sit there and... Bide your time, save your weapons. Hurry up and wait. <clears throat> Hurry up and wait, exactly. All right, well, this is a slower start, but I think when you look at Crims holding the Famous across, Brolin still holding onto the AK, and Flusher, I'm not sure if he wants to hold onto the Scout going into the first gun round or not. He doesn't seem to be hunting or trying to take anything away, but what this means is in the forward rounds from that, when the max loss bonus is in play, they might be able to chip in for a couple of cheekier buys. Uh, it's not like they're getting the bonus round because they're not winning. But uh, they're able to hold on to something potent enough to use in the gun round. Now in Counter-Strike, we're seeing almost the full range of weaponry being used. It's very rare. It's only a few guns that aren't used on a, on a serious level or when the chips are down. Lovely jumping accuracy there from Masuda. It's great to see. You know, this is... Look, I keep talking about it. Obviously, it just hasn't happened overnight. It's been for some time. But weapons like that, the MAC-10, the MP9, especially pound for pound being used as, as great little pieces of kit. Yeah, it was kind of the answer to the anti-ecos. Mm. <clears throat> enables a, a style of play that's re much more rewarded against the low armor and low buys. It's all part of the balance. <clears throat> no subtlety to the presence in tunnels, but gonna keep two players present. And it looks like that void in mid could be exploited if they get the feel for it. But the three play stack towards long, gonna send out the utility, fall away slightly as Crims now considers the availability of mid, short, everything else, and you've got JW joining him as well. So eventually they'll fall back to a more safe hold, but worthwhile to invest that utility towards long hinder any of that early aggression that could come through. Misuta and Zywu are going to take over control. See what those nades are like. Not bad. That's good. That's going to isolate them slightly from each other, so the kick could oh, be distracted, no. but apparently not. Off the back of the flash from Apex, Zywu finds JW, and suddenly the CTs are in a state of disarray. Yeah, this is trouble right now. Bomb's going B. They're going to try and maybe have Masuta throw out the U till A. Looks like he's doing a dribble now. Should have him jump through it. Pressure CT. So we're making sure there's no long info being pushed for, which is what... Oh. Actually, they're all walking into Brolin's domain. It's been a while since he was tested here. And with that AK-47, it was Shox's from two rounds ago. Golden's called B clear. Brolin's on high alert. But Brolin does wow. so well. That adjustment for the second keeps it competitive, albeit briefly. It's only on to the remaining Golden and Flusher. Coming in from CT. Zywu so smoked to get across, and he has managed to do so with a warning shot, though, revealing that the primary weapon, the M4, is in CT's realm. Hang on a second. Avoiding the util. Does live to fight another day. Flusher hoping he gets a free frag on the way from short, but doesn't seem like it's in the playbook for Masuta. Could take it by force here, though does so. Down to 79. It's exactly the right amount of health for the one-shot kill. Oh, this gets so scary. Apex better be ready as well. <gasps> Zywu, that's not as clean as you'd like. A little bit of a fluff there. Now positions are noted, but Zywu holds on for the double dip. Golden going to remove one with a jump, but now Apex can play the time. And there is none left. Golden, he could try all he wants, but it's time to get out of there. 12 HP and Vitality put another up on the board. That was a nice shot from Golden, but unfortunately too little too late there is, well, this is what I was talking about. Take a look at the cash right now, because if Brolin with the saved AK has 7.9K, I think Crims had roughly above six. They will be able to buy again based off of the saved weapons in the previous. And with everybody going down on the side of Vitality, look, it's not the end of the world because how clean those rounds were for them in the previous. But as this war of attrition, the game of Counter-Strike, the economy balance comes back and forth. This may play a role later down the track. So you can see, yeah, there's still a lot of money on that Vitality side, but it's hurting them. It's hurting them. It's better than having them survive. It's better than having players left. Zou had the spawn. He's going to use it straight out towards long. Brolin forced off the angle. They've lost a big chunk of this map control now. Vision removed from the CETs. You still have RPK as well, waiting over towards those P-tunnels in case anyone got inquisitive. 
But for now, they are going to be on red alert that A is looking a little bit more vulnerable than before. Well, they have long control early and they have a bucket load of nades to work with now. Walking back, making sure they don't give up a sound cue to cat players. That's something important. If you do have long control, it's highly likely the CTs are playing over towards short. And if they are where Crims are and you're running away, you will be heard. That's very, very important to be sneaky, be as quiet as you like. And they've retooled. They're just going to appear, four of them, walking down middle as a wolf pack. Oh, Golden almost caught out. That smoke's going to hold them back. Oh, dear. Through the smoke, he finds one. Ooh, how inquisitive are they feeling? Oh, Brawlin <laughs> appears through the smoke, and it looked like this wolf pack was going to find a bit of a meal. But on the other side, they found oh. something more deadly. Brawlin again, but where are the last two? Over towards B. Yeah, and they're making a lot of noise. Flush up. Should have Zywoo for breakfast in RPK. A mere morsel. The four Fnatic as they find their first. Four alive as well. That's nice. It's going to help maintain what Chad was just talking about. Three AKs as well. They'll keep all of them. This is the Bolan frag, and it was just on the precipice of the smoke. Finding the second with 12 HP as well as his teammate retreated, did secure the round. But round six, couldn't ask for more in terms of weaponry for the CTs. It's time for Fnatic to take control. Take over. Out he goes, and that's good damage. RPK wants to demand some control. A flash for the fight. And Brolin not having any of it. Get out of my house. Crims, one kill, one death. He really hasn't seen much action on the A side of things. Jiggle. Info. Golden's tucked off. And Apex wow. opens up again. That's twice. JW's been having a nightmare with Apex on A. Crims, however, makes short work of one. Brolin's already dealt with another. So these A attacks have been dealt with by the A defenders. It will be shocks poking and probing for a little bit of a B info, but Flush has got their rotate locked. Masuta, what have you got for us? You got anything, any elements of surprise? Flush is in such a good angle. Spots one. And that was the frag they needed. They could try and go on this. That's Masuta with the bomb. He throws it mid-combat. That's nuts. Oh, he's in so much trouble. And he goes down, but he doesn't have the bomb anymore. Zaiwu charging in for the last ditch attempt, a two versus three. This was a two versus four here. And now they've maybe, just maybe got a shot. No flashes, at least not for the CTs. There is one for the re-aggress. Oh, they're setting Zaiwu up. He's burning. He wants them all looking and they're ready. Brolin found another, yet to see shocks with a frag. Now he needs three. Tall task for the man, but he is one of the golden oh. standard. Went for it, Goldemout does him. Blooming hell, this is getting a little bit, a little bit close. It was a chance. It was <laughs> a real, real chance. Real there. chance. So they needed to be defusing this bomb. They're just going to go make sure they can pick up all the goodies. Here he goes, getting the orb. Thank you very much. The defuser will come through now. And the buy, it should still come out for the vitality side of things because of that plant. You can see uh, Apex has enough money to drop an orb over potentially. Masuda can buy. I think that was RPK down the bottom as well. Should be able to get a purchase up. And then Galils are always available. We know Vitality, they don't shy away from a fight. They might just use the long territory they've been getting and uh, actually try and apply more pressure from that side of the map. But a bit of frustration there from Apex with how things all unraveled right there. They haven't gone for the full investment. They've just gone for another one of these hero AK rounds. And I can't blame them. On Inferno, they were able to make it work. So why not try it here? Apex is hitting a bunch of good shots. He's got seven kills to his name. They can slow the clock down, change the pace of the approach. See if Fnatic want to go for anything a little bit more aggressive. And as we can see here, JW posted up on the long corner. He'll be the first one to be dealt with. Shox needs to do a little bit of a jump, he will. And Masuda straight into the alt bullet. ron has been pretty on point with this, but do keep in mind that Shox and RPK are yet to get a frag, which you'd want to see them start coming online, even just a little bit. Not to be, though, Golden being very, very proficient. Holding towards middle there, being a consistent annoyance and nuisance towards the double doors. It looks like they're going to double back on this. That's a bit of a peek, and that's a bit of a shot. Nicely handled. Oh, go on, that's, Golden. That's stunning stuff from him. Yeah, he's got those eyes of a hawk. Long range duel with the M4. This one does just peter out. Apex should be collecting. Just the one. 
Triple kill from Golden really locks that round in. So that's Fnatic with three in a row. After the break from Vitality, they came in hot. Four rounds, all with the bomb going down. It certainly did give them the funds to keep going and going now towards Max Lost Bonus. This was JW's frag. And this is that lovely second. That adjustment was a dink straight into the pole. All right, well, JW got his revenge on Apex right there. Let's yeah, the first see how time. that continues. I was a scout. You don't love to see it. Flash towards long. Can they get control cleanly? Looks like it. Golden thinking about hanging around here. Flash in. Oh, didn't catch who he wanted. RBK gets on the board finally. But a trade back and forth. And look, look at Brolin. First time we've not seen him at long. He's over here. He's basically at the back of long instead. And oh my word, if they peel away, he's going to hear oh. it. He Does might he get fall juked. for the first? Yeah, this could be just unfortunate timing in a weird way, but he's going to hear RPK, surely. Yeah, he has. That's the bomb. Thank you very much. Bronze going to be loving this. Zywu scout out. Not going to get much done. And obviously Apex, hands in the air, I'm sure. What are you meant to do with this? Oh, he's even given himself a lovely little one way to peek over. Well, that's one way to win a round. Brolin just charges up mid. It does cut them down to size. You're right, Lauren. The one time they're not... Or he's not there. When they hit his side of the map, he comes up mid and gets the job done anyway. Krems is ready for you. That's All four. Right. So, four in a row. Yeah, Max loss. Sprollen. Had no issues with these three. He really put Zywu in a box there. He had to take that fight with just a scout. No fun for him. Plenty of fun for Sweden. All right, well, let's see how they want to start approaching these rounds here, Vitality. Because that's four, basically four gun rounds on a try. I know there was one with the two AKs and the upgraded pistols, but it was a round where they had a, a decent shot at being able to crack on through. This time it will just be upgraded pistols across the board. Armor for Apex, who had a little bit more money than everybody else, and a light spread of utility. So you can see smokes, a couple of flashes, try and work their way into some kills. So on a round like this, just go for standard map territory. Once you find out where the CTs are, see if you can use that light utility you have to isolate a jewel. See if you can find a frag, get yourself an upgraded weapon. Apex will be taken down to 12 HP from the start of things. Golden able to tag him up through the smoke. It looks like they're setting up for a bit of a B play. So the Lurk smoke, oh, didn't quite go as deep as what you need. So that one there for Flusher should be quite easily to defend against, but still bait out utility. So job done. Smoke towards mid to B now. That'll draw the attention of one of the B defenders. Hi guys, welcome to RPK Smoke Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning how to smoke the B doors from B tons. It's a new smoke with the changed skyboxes, so pay attention. I'll be giving you this a dribble smoke tutorial, actually. Um, you stand there, and that's the better one. There you go. That's the one you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. We've got flashes. They'll be throwing those over, throwing those in, and off we go. Flash up, blinded. Trigonometry on the flash, good. Ooh, Ooh, tab. Salt tab to oh, no. I hope they don't lose the round. Oh god. Doesn't look like they will. Shops could get a plan off this though. He will. Bomb down. 800 oh. bucks. Hop. Dinks are landing. And so are JWs. <laughs> okay. Defuse does get pulled out. Just the one casualty. Looks like Flush are definitely having a bit of a mare there. Oh. He's having a right, Tony. He is. Why is this though? I just want to watch this one again. Oh, okay. Yeah. It looked a little bit cooler. Yeah, I, I think Golden did a fair bit of yeah. the fair bit of the damage, but we'll, we'll we'll get excited by it. Flushes on the orbs. We have the double orbs coming out here from Fnatic. That seems to be their next solution to the Vitality puzzle, as it is five in a row right now. As Vitality will muster a buy of their own. No more scout for Zywu. He's finally got out the uh, desired rifle. Shox is using that to barrel straight down mid. This might be a quick mid to B from Shox with the attack onto the B bomb site for the remainder of his teammates. Flash, here we go. Flash though, orped up. First time we get to see it for a little bit. Molly comes in, not exactly ideal, but here we go. Mizuta takes down his own buddy, but still fighting the good fight is Flusher. Shock's success in middle denies any of the cavalry being called. And the bomb should be able to be planted. Safe in the hands of Apex for now, as Shox is still on the prowl. He's going to cost the CTs a touch of time to clear this. But no, they go straight through. JW bold as ever. Smoke goes in, and Apex knows he's going to get some pressure fast. Yeah, Shox has got this weird responsibility between survival and contributing. He's got to strike the balance. Now is his time. Starts to close in. He knows Apex is under a lot of scrutiny. The timing's good. The shots oh. are too. JW found out and eliminated. Damn, that's quite a powerful round to be converting. Between them, the two of them, 
two versus three. It had to, both of them had to win their individual duels in order to make that a reality. Yeah, that's not the uh, the dream outcome, but it is exactly what they needed. And that causes the first time out to be called by the French as well. Apex leading by example is Ryan, this, uh, this map, 11 frags. 125 ADR. Had that crazy four piece on the pistol. And that feels like also long ago is where this frag. Yeah, so it. he gets this one as Shox kills Crims. Had they not, round done. Good stuff. That's the first round Vitality have been able to post since Fnatic got on the board. As you can see here, lovely little round timeline. The first four Stark all with the bomb contrast down. to Inferno, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then five straight there from Fnatic. So that double AWP setup was quite costly. RPK. Well, he was smashing over there on Inferno this time round. Only one kill to his name, but still plenty of time to come alive. A bit of a Dust 2 specialist. Double orps are out again, so they want to reinvest into that same round and re-picking. Okay, Zaiwu gets a bit of a love tap. Down to half HP. Shock straight in there with the cat control. Yeah, he's just taking no prisoners. So last round he went out mid. This round he's going up cat, and you can see Fnatic are focused on mid doors. If he gives, a, if he shows a little, if he gets a little bit of attention over, over there, this could be wonderful. Molly gonna go in, gotta hope they give away nothing at this point, but the presence will be noted now. Smokes, Molly's, but they're not really biting at this because they know what's coming their way. Golden set into motion by Flusher. It's a good, good hit through the B tunnels. For the CTs to hold and it's just working so well for Flusher. He had a rough time before. And now well played by Brolin to stay patient, stay cautious. I mean, clearly Brolin has not been paying attention to JW's knife score because that was a round where you're allowed to. You're allowed to. He was the last man standing. You'd won the round already. His back was turned. He hadn't checked his corners. Brolin has not been paying attention to Fnatic knife score. But you remember last season when we had him on and we said, Brolin, we don't see you getting into the naughty business like the rest of the boys, mate. How come? He said, I just like the kills. You know, he just yeah. he wants to, he wants to play it by the book. He hasn't, he hasn't prescribed Give it time. Yet. Give it time. Flusher has <laughs> taken down Masuta, though. Continuing to corrupt. What's this buy like? RPK, yeah, not, not loving it. Oh, there you go, Galil. Out of nowhere. Thank you very much, Masuta. Yes, thank you for the drop. Sorry that to you're be. dead, but uh, I'll take your gun. Look. He's recycling. It's, that's a that's a noble cause. It is. That's true. I don't know how I feel about all of these B hits that we've seen coming out from Vitality. It's an interesting approach to be going towards the B bomb site. I mean, consider how chaotic A can be. Yeah. And consider how proficient JW, Crims, and Brolan as a trio it's is. True. Mm. I'd be going towards Golden and Flusher. For the options were as it stands, but not when every time they know he likes the tight line and the pre fires hurt. Well, JW knocked off his perch. They've got access to the site. The bomb can go down. The rotate's on its way. Apex dealing with Brolin. Oh, if he just stays here, Apex has got to lose one. Oh, he gets it. <laughs> what? Now he can hold the middle rotate as well. Like this is oh, oh. so good. Apex calling a good game and playing one too. Can't ask for anything more than that. And Apex, as you said, I think the perfect analogy is is leading by example, showing tr true, true value as an individual. And Flusher trying to just keep hold of this gun. If he can keep the AWP, be happy. But the net's closing in. You've got, who is it? Shocks through the double doors over towards B. Who does it see first? Oh my God, a miss from Flusher. Not used to seeing it, but there we go. Shocks takes away the lifeline they were holding on to there. That would have been nice to keep into play, but Money, I don't think, is too bad for the CTs. I'm sure it'll be not ideal, but for now, though, it looks like they might have cracked a little bit of the code here now. Yeah, they need to string a few more, though. Well, I guess the same could be said either side. Right now, we're sitting at 6-6, six, six, so a very tight affair once again. Roland not happy with how that duel went down there, but I'm sure Apex on the other side of things would be very, sure. very happy. And the buy will come back on out. JW still with the green. No kits, light utility. And they want to use the all forward. Wow. Wow, it goes one for one, but it very, you can see Fnatic do not want to let Vitality play their game here. There is clear intent, but the flash was wow. perfect. Brolin gobbled that one up. Full white screen, staring at the concrete. Ouch. Look how much space Shox is taking again. 
He's doing it again. Flusher and Crims having to react to the action in middle, having called. There was so he's going to try dry, or is he? Yeah, he's a madman. He is. He is. <laughs> he's straight up confirmed it. He's walked onto A without a making a peep. Oh, spotted oh. and eliminated his flush up. That's going to be inciting the bomb in the hands of Apex. Crims falling out of the site. Golden's still on B, by the way, and you wouldn't believe that there's another duel to be had. Just as he turns around, I'm furious. Oh. I'm furious. Call a timeout. I need to calm down. <laughs> Oh. Well, Crims, if he wins this one, Vitality might need to call a timeout as Apex still f continuing that good form. 16 frags, 118 ADR, looking really good. The way these guys are dying, Chad, like... Tiltworthy stuff, huh? Oh, deep breaths, deep breaths. Well, they've broken the money late, so Fnatic now... Oh, man, just... Like, that's a, that death sucks. Too. This one, he just turned around. That death sucks. Shock's being on a ramp as I'm coming back from short. That hurts. It's just this this Counter-Strike is really quite ridiculous. And it's working wonders. It's a, it's a joy to watch. I'm just glad I'm not the ones they're doing it against. Well, Flusher actually, I don't know if he rage bought or he just knew that he wasn't going to have a lot of money next round anyway. So he went for the scout buy, maybe happy to buy the scout again next round. But here for Fnatic, they could really lose the half 9-6 now. Yeah, it's the, I mean, the pavement has been laid. It's just a question of seeing if it sets. Ooh, that's enough from me. Now Crims with a flashbang can really try and make a difference. Perfect. But the spray. <laughs> Two heads roll on the repeat. Misuta solo. Surely he wants to tuck in. He's got so much util. Yeah, don't squander that to USPs. Oh, shocks. The lurk. The filthy Always. lurk. Always. He's going to get one. Oh, That's the force. He's going to open himself up to spawn. Okay. 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 So that's an AK. Zai, we have the bomb, mate. Zai, we bomb. He's coming. JW is too. AK, unarmored. I bet he walks through this smoke. Yep. Of course. Yep, of course he does. JW stops the bomb at least and puts it into a winnable world for Crimson. Never mind. I just saw where he is. Poor soul. The bomb's going to go down. Don't forget Masuta is low as well. And they've got two Molotovs. So as soon as this bomb does go down, a smoke and two mollies, I I don't see. There, there, there isn't an, a way in anymore. Look how careful they're being as well. They don't want to risk another little limp in play. So there's that smoke you were talking about with the bomb planted. That'll get them to roughly halfway ticked. There's the molly. Seems a bit early from Masuta. Crims will still have a chance right now. Another flash. As if it wasn't already hard enough. Nothing giving up for free. Crimson scene now. Dead. RPK close and <laughs> some of the way these guys are playing is is uh something else. See, so this is what I mean. Flusher spent seventeen hundred last round and now he's got two point six. So his choice there to go for the scout, a curious one. RPK mopping it up against JW and then finishing off against Crims there. That posts the eight on the board. And now we take a look. Kid on JW, another scout for Flush. So yeah, he's happy to do the back-to-back -back scout rifles and already tagged on down. Oh, they went to try and face towards the tunnels and Golden just gets it ripped off. They're, they're speeding up. Flush is already tagged. He can try and do damage, but he's fragile. One bullet will do it and it goes through the door. Why not? You can pick how you want to take him out. Oh, shocks. Missing a bit of a... <laughs> uh, <excuse me. laughs> Excuse the me? double orb T side. Okay, Crims was not Sorry. expecting that one to come on through. Well, fair enough. I don't even blame him. B, B, B. <laughs> B double orb. Of course, it's Vitality that I keep hitting the B. Makes sense. All right, Brolin. One on four. Yeah, I mean, give us your best shot, mate. In what a universe. Six bullets in that one. Doesn't matter. Go. Grabs himself another so fresh. A flash high as the three peaks. I, I could see a, I could see universe. He's pre firing everything he needs to. And so is Masuta. It's 9 6, folks. Fitz's Vitality are seven rounds away from taking the series in two.
yourself back together Been staying off track forever Child of the nation We seek redemption Time for salvation Today is meant to be Day of victory Time for history Reverse a tendency Fight the entropy Channel your rivalry You're playing for fortune to come You're hearing the sound of the drums It's too late to backtrack Get back your back now Keep your feet on the road And stand up You've got what it takes To fight back Don't stop Until you black out Out Just to second half, we're back in business. It's time to see a Fnaticar too. Last few rounds of the half fell flat. Quite the opposite for the French, of course. They've got Pansy and Sponge along for the ride as well. Man, a self-machine. We're getting into the action. I'm seeing a boatload of util. I like the double HE on that T-side. What you got in store for us, T-sides? Back of Platinade, maybe? Plat B, yeah. Uh, Possibility. Two and four, Golden and Krim car. heading towards B. So that's where they're going. Basuda has yeah. played that in quite a few of the games we have watched towards the back of the platform position. This time around, he's going to be netted a little bit more forward towards Catwalk, also on the cards or in the cards. Oh, they spy him. Uh, 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 uh. He's out of there. Hi. Thanks for spending $600. Please come again. They're not slowing down, though. This looks like they're going off of us, and that flash Didn't seemingly do anything. do anything. Did it? I don't know where that went to not God do it. flash. Right? <laughs> Need to go to a new dealer, maybe? Yeah, I that guess so. Look good. Uh, the CTs, though, not being particularly proactive in this. This isn't quite deep. Oh. That's a dink and a half, though. RPK's in trouble. Zywoo tries to oh. bail him out. It does get golden on the way, but the three kills come in for the T. So that's a bomb plant. And actually a pretty safe site for a second or two. Yeah, Apex has his util set for the retake. So he is going to land this on the nobody. That's the smoke for the bomb, but no kid in play here. That is a problem. Flash is great. Suter could do something with this. Doesn't check it and loses his head. Brolin, not dead. JW does find the necessary frag from short. So that's the Fnatic pistol. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, self Chad. I don't know if you've got too much pepper to sprinkle no, on that. that was quite quite standard. They just took those jewels from bridge across the car position. Their flashes, as you guys mentioned, weren't even great. So just winning out the fights right there. Good pressure applied on an A split. And there's JW taking down Apex from behind. So. I'm curious to see if we'll get the force by out of Vitality. Most likely we will. That's the, the way they like to approach the game. But for them... Interesting. I probably have a couple of worries here because it is only Apex online right now. Check it out. 18 kills. The next closest is Masuda with nine frags. So 
If the other individuals in Vitality start waking up and getting some impact in the way Apex has within the first half, well, Vitality are going to be looking hot to trot. But if everybody cools off, and we might have some real dramas, and Fnatic could be geared up to take us to map number three, stealing each other's map choices. Oh, that's a dud smoke. Oh, or dear. is it? I, I think so. Or is it? I don't think that's where it was meant to land. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just trying to make it sound cool, Chad. <laughs> because what it's done, Chadney, is it's made life difficult for Apex. Golden as well, though, in that gray screen, is going to have to play around it. And Apex is the one that's worse for wear after the exchange. He's down to 19. That was the bomb spotted long. So the CTs are all, like, they'll all be there by this point. Oh, and the flash, the CZ, it's good damage. Shocks nearly took two. RPK can finish him off as well. Weapons laden with the ground. Zywoo's hitting headshots. He's got two with the Deagle. This second round force bite, oh. it's worked out wonders. The spray control isn't bad, but Apex will finish it off with his second. And now rifle upgrades galore. They take an AK and two Galils into that one for free. Look at the money on the Fnatic side. Uh... It's Very like, voice. well, I, we were all young once, right? And when we were young, Jesus. we would have all been out on a Friday and Saturday night. And then we wake yeah. up on Sunday morning and we check yeah. our bank balance and we go, ah, 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 yeah. ah. Yeah. I still have to live a whole nother week. Yeah. Ah. But you were riding that Friday feeling though. You really enjoyed that Friday night. And that's what Buying Fnatic rounds, were feeling. Getting the taxis. Oh, it's, oh. it adds up. Fish bowls and weather spoons. You don't want to get the train, or you miss the train, so you have to get the taxi, and it's yeah. it's a hundred pounds. You're like, Jesus. Oh, that's why the that's why I can scoot everywhere now, Chad. It's it's, it's lit. <laughs> it's, it's dumb lit. It's dummy lit, bruv, fam. Apex. Does dummy lit, fam. Himself up with a lovely little two piece. <laughs> Clean up crew to mid doors. Oh, Clean up crew to mid doors. Apex here. Sweeps him under the rug. Pops is caught. Now, nah, like I don't have to get too graphic now. Easy. Easy, Tiger. All about trash compactors and yeah, corpses. I don't, know why, there. I don't Didn't know why I was it. going down there. Um, I did love the car screeching impression, though, that I heard make it onto Reddit. What? Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah, Rushley really, really brought edits. it to life. He brought it to Gorgeous life. Gorgeous work. Uh, make sure you head over to Twitter to check out the edit there. Rushley123456. Oh. Um, very, very good. Good memes. Like, like a good meme. I fully understand why some people hate me, by the way. Like, I really, I just make really obnoxious noises. Um, what's the word when you can't control it? As a tick? Just, well, I'm excited. I'm, when I, when I, my whole job is to convey my excitement. Unfortunately, my excitement manifests in squeals sometimes. But I have been manager. I've been uh, like approaching some management. Stuff. That's a no-scope. But uh, I'm afraid with 30 seconds left, they'll need more than just a no-scope. Suta taking a risk with the aggressive stance. And now Crim's is safe to try and find a little bit more damage. Apex does go down or oh, pick it up in the end. It's a triple kill from him. And you're right, he is still popping off, Chad. He's still yeah. running away with it. He had a double kill in the round prior, triple kill in this one. He's having a multi-kill every round so far. Well, it's likely we uh, get to talk to him in the post-game interview if they win. We only ever get Apex or Shock, so we can probably ask him what he had for breakfast or yeah. brunch. Maybe he had some, did some stretching. Ask him about the new room, what the, what the globe is. I like his wallpaper. It's like a warm sort of, you know, color on the back of it. It's very nice. One spot that. Get him shocks. <laughs> he's that's, absolutely that's, tuned in. Yeah, well, that's what he's thinking in his brain. Going for those eco frags. You can smell them. Some players just smell that. <laughs> he needs it. He sniffs them out. Give them to me. Not even here. Nah. He's furious. He's going to the wrong, the wrong house. Well, at least he's telling his friends to watch out. <laughs> They're coming down their road. Otherwise, they could be long or they could be B. Yeah, shocks doesn't sound like that at all. Shocks on helium, but. Uh, <laughs> Oh, 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 Poor old Shox. He That's enough that. multi. That is three in a row now. Apex has got himself three multi kills, and that one, of course, doesn't quite count for so much, but nice and neat type tidy up. As was Masuta as well. That could have actually got a little awkward if they yeah. had to try and retake the side. The bomb goes down, but Masuta just been caught out, flashbanged. He just took a moment to stabilize his aim and tap into those heads. He knew he had advantage. That's the, uh, that's the mouse pad. That's the mouse pad. He's definitely yeah. got... Uh, Straight up IAR sort of jam going on there. Yeah, whatever you find solace in. <laughs> All right, well, Xbox Smoke is out. The guns are finally out for Fnatic after losing that force by. Shox is going to get flashed in for this. Here it comes. This could be huge. The timing. Oh, JW. How does oh, oh, Yikes. Yikes. All right, JW. Let's go. 
Now Masuta is surrounded. Mid smokes go up and he is feeling oh so alone. And they've left JW posted in middle. Involuntary. That was the sound. That was oh. the word I was looking for. Involuntary yes. sounds, yeah. I love them. Uh, but Masuta, here he is. And there he oh. goes. Good damage. That was almost a double. Yeah, almost won't cut it, I'm afraid, Chad. So we might want to challenge JW and punish him for the damage. He does manage that, but that's just the consolation prize. This is another Fnatic round, and he's done well there. RPK just basically just battling for survival at this point. Brolin's on the hunt too. That was great by JW, though. The second one, obviously, using the Tracer Fire to find the frag. It was a bonus round coming out from the side of things with Vitality, though. So by saving, they are really set for success and to not cripple their bank account too much. Masuda will need a gun. I assume RPK will drop him some goodies. And Fnatic have to think better of hunting. Like, why don't they go take the guns away? Well, the money's not fantastic on their side of things just yet. A little bit unstable right now. So for them, holding on to these three AK-47s, getting the round win bonus is very important for their stock instead within this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, reasonable. Bullet, easy as you like. <laughs> he meant to do that. He definitely meant to Fully do that. Fully intentional, of course. All right. So that will be the second round of the half posted on the board here for Fnatic after that pistol round victory. I still have four more to grab to catch up with Vitality, who have now opted to bring out the double orb setup. Shox has got one. Zywoo with the saved. And out long JW is going this time. Let's see what entries. RPK's going to have to deal with a lot of players coming their way. They're already out. He's got the backup of Zywoo at least, which is always a lovely addition, I'm sure. Flash in. Didn't seem to matter too much to Brolin, but Zywoo on the trader. Now, who's made it out? It was JW's ahead of this. Now, Zywoo well aware of the possibility. Out does JW, and Long's his. Yeah, he is just, it's like a robot. You can see like, okay, sweep to this point, now vulnerable to this angle, must adjust, vulnerable to this angle, sweeping, I'm faster than you. And he has done it again, another double kill for Zywoo. And he's to be tested now from short, at least that's what the utility suggests. Apex vulnerable in middle, though. Shock's firing off a warning shot, could bait them into the false sense of security. And Masuta's playing a real short, naughty game here. Oh, that's a bit of a catch. Oh. Flush is going to have wide open spacing to be, and he's going to try and seize it now. At least trying to threaten. Oh, Apex. Every single time he's finding himself in this right place. That's an impact frag and a half right there. Yeah. Stifled any room, so now they have to reconsider. He's disappeared enough as well. <laughs> Left wanting so much. Shocks. Sees enough. Goodbye. That's bomb now. Flush of the 1v3. 30 seconds. Amoy. And no bomb to hand. And it's it's really not in an ideal spot. Fizzling is what it's mm. doing. And uh, it's thanks to Apex, as Chad highlighted. And perhaps we should have as well. That one frag did change a lot. You can see the double kill converted in the end there. But it's the one prior that converts it into a 13th for Vitality. They're just three rounds away from converting this series to zero. And Apex is a huge part of that. He's heading towards his 30 fast. Jeez. I haven't seen an Apex game like this in a long no, time. No, it's hype though. Like, if we can have a Shox RPK Apex, Apex Zywoo. and then a Zywoo. Jeez. <laughs> uh, like, there might not be enough room in the server. I don't think there is. All right. Well, the half buy is coming out from the Fnatic side of things. Money wasn't good enough on all the members to go for the full purchase. So they will be humbled right here. Double Orbs are still in play on the Vitality side of things. And well, over towards B, it was where Vitality did a lot of their best work in the first half, is where side of things want to go from Fnatic. So Masuda, he has a lot to do. He's on his own. The rotation can come in quickly. We can see Shox and Apex are close for that rotation. They can send flashes over the top as well to help him out. I mean, they sent their B player to B without a smoke. Poor guy. Does have one delivered by a flashbang. Shocks to try and support. The suitor does manage to catch the first. There's more coming. Clean oh, headshot is, is required. The smoke's going to give him something to play around, but JW's D does not slouch. Neither does Shocks, though. A lot of pressure. Crims overwhelms him. They have numbers. They have weapons. They don't have the bomb. Oh, that needs to be retrieved, open. and it is in the open. That's the responsibility of Crims. Oh, okay, Zywoo catching the first. They know that bomb's on lock. And Zywoo's oh found another one. What is he up to? Just aggressively orping the window. Blocking them one by one. JW showboating oh. two. And he can't hit the final shot. Okay, intensity zero to 100. We go pedal to the metal in the final seconds. But it's 14 for Vitality. And that is the break point for Fnatic. They are getting...
Blown out of the server, but look how close it came. That shot was spectacular. Zyra was the one that locked him down, and that bomb, the way it dropped really cost him. You can see Zyra just profiting from that moment. That slight lapse in Crimson's judgment in pursuit of the bomb. Oh, I love the way JW, the old master, was like, well, I've got to go and do it myself now, don't I? Fast out long, though. Flashes are there. Flush is on it. He's not slowing down. Fight against Apex. You ain't going to win it. Trade comes in the molly from the grave, essentially gets Apex. it. And now, bless you, Alex. RPK down in the grave. Shocks has to slow this roll down. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to stop. Zaiwu wants to stop him permanently. He does find Brolin and another oh, for shots. so annoying. This is irritating. Double Or was finding gaps in all your smokes. Zaiwu is ready for you, JW. If you inch to your right. Oh. <laughs> Hug the wall. Think thin, think thin. Think thin. <laughs> That's just so frustrating because shocks with the AWP from CT, they think they have him covered off and they can close that distance. And then Zywu steps out from the top of sight. It's like, what do we have to do here? Like, we thought we already dealt with the AWP. We thought we knew where he was. Well, at least they have the bomb. And JW's going around the world. Mm. 50 seconds left, so there's plenty of time for a maneuver like this, but will they be ready? One of the... Well, so I was actually dropped it to the AK-47, so he's not holding on to it. I was going to say, one of the AWPs could post up, cover off towards mid and the B side of things, but... Not to be the case here. So JW all the way through spawn. The first port of call will be Zywu to deal with that. You can see his little jiggle. Left eye peeking towards CT. So there will be a window of opportunity. There he's spotted. Now the information, the game's up, and JW can't do anything with this. Just when you've done a round-the-world maneuver and the players ah. are, are, pl are executing it to the point where you've just been jiggled out, it's just a nasty... Like, you're losing because they're playing smart, you know? You see that little knife? You see him just... Jiggle away, you see a, fle a flash of flash, and you know, well, all of this was for nothing. And then he just couldn't get up onto the Xbox there, even if he uh, wanted to have a little bit of a crack the trash bag. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm True. taking my toys. Like his little trash egg for the uh. trash chicken. Oh, well. Yeah, but jokes aside, this was the double orbs really just shredding any any hopes Fnatic had to get across. And yeah, it's starting to get really frustrating on the Swedish camp. This was... Vitality map pick, and they're certainly demonstrating their fortitude on it. This is uh, two T rounds posted from Fnatic here on Dust2, and they're coming in with certainly an eclectic mix. <laughs> it's one way to put it, isn't it? Oh, oh. oh. oh and I, I hate uh. all of this. I hate all of this. This is horrible. It makes me uncomfortable. And RPK is over towards Pit. Already teaser out towards Long. Golden's burning a light. Oh, no. What a horrible start. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Hello. My name's Brolin, and I'm nuts. Okay. Well, this just got a little bit more interesting. That felt like such a terrible start from Fnatic, but Brolin has something to say. Last three members long, still the double orb set up to deal with. And I laugh because being at long against double orbs, never the place you want to be, especially when you only have one smoke. Yeah, and I'll tell you what's even worse is that the other orb's staring at your mid-rotate. Oh. So Brolin... He's likely going to meet Zywu. Ay, ay, ay. can't go anywhere. There's no options. I mean, A is great, actually, because look at Zywu. He's the uh, he's the best one for the job, and he's got a tiny gap to work with, so no hope there. It will be the retake. I do see incendiary flashes, kits, but orps. So, admittedly, in most hands, I would say this is a disadvantage, but Zywu's got his favorite weapon. And Shocks, well, he'll be able to just sweep up as a uh, third prong. So for now, it's long. And as Masuta and Zaiwu start taking space, start having no fights, that will be Shox's turn to start having a lucky loo. Boom. Oh, easy wow. as that. Just like that, Vitality have done it. Neat, tidy. They tidy it up with a very quick one. It looks like Fnatic are out the server. Defuse comes in to confirm it. 16 to 8. Vitality are 2-0, making a statement at the ESL Pro League.